At the beginning of the movie, Sadie Rhodes makes the decision to drive to the mountains in order to release her sorrows after a tragedy co-worker passes away. Sadie receives a call from Dr. Claudia Yates to help her understand her loss. Sadie claims that she and her co-worker were essentially the same, with the exception that the other employee had a houseplant and Sadie did not. Cole Turner works at a farmer's market and helps a store owner sell plants. He is upset that his ex, Fiona, dumped him. Others urge him to continue, but he is fixated on it. Cole's separation was allegedly caused by his neediness, according to someone else. Driving to Cole's hometown, Sadie pulls into the market. He offers many options for a plant based on how much maintenance it will require when she asks for one. She claims she wants a low-maintenance plant because she spends a lot of time away from her home. In light of his breakup, he interprets it as a sign that this woman is not meeting other people's emotional needs. Furthermore, it's clear from the way he speaks that he is also incredibly passionate about farming. Because the plant won't be properly cared for, he becomes irate and tells her that he can't sell it. The actual shopkeeper enters and offers to sell her the same flower plant as she is ready to depart. Simply to belittle Sadie, Cole offers her a tiny cactus. The store clerk admits to Cole that she believed they were flirting earlier as Sadie approaches her car. She is unaware of his change in attitude. Upon hearing it, Cole approaches Sadie's vehicle and raps on the glass. The vehicle then crashes into her plant, killing it. In spite of this, she lowers her window and accepts Cole's apology. A strong connection between them, he claims, and a request to go out are made. They embark on a day-long date after she accepts his invitation. They talk as they stroll across the town about their personal lives. Cole then brings Sadie to the steps where The Exorcist was filmed. He regards it as the most frightful film. You have the option to not be afraid she says. She outpaces him in a race by running quickly. His requirement for an inhaler is due to his asthma. However, he is drawn to her and perceives her as a rebound, perhaps as a result of the law of opposites attract. At her house, they stay the night before he departs for home the next day. With his parents, Cole describes the wonderful day he had with Sadie. His sister, Maddie, criticizes his neediness while they encourage his search for a soul partner. She comments on how hopeless he appears to be after seeing his numerous texts to Sadie. In an effort to get a response, he ignores that remark and continues to text Sadie. But she ghosts him. He abruptly remembers leaving his inhaler with her. He uses it to track her down because it has a tracking device. Maddie criticizes his stalker-like actions. But he is unconcerned. It is genuine love in his eyes. His mother, who also describes him as a hopeless romantic, shares that opinion. Sadie is finally discovered by Cole to be in London. He dares to go abroad despite never having done so before in order to meet her. He arrives in London and calls a cab to the GPS location. Finally, Cole comes to a stop close to the pin and circles to look for Sadie. Soon after that, three menacing individuals and tasered encircle him. As soon as Cole opens his eyes, he finds himself in a cave-like setting where Borislav refers to him as a taxman and repeatedly requests a passcode. Cole, who is troubled by it, keeps saying that he only came to London to see a girl and has no idea what Borislav anticipates from him. However, if Cole did not disclose that code, Borislav vowed to punish him with some deadly bees. Soon later, Sadie Prize opened the door and shoots everyone, including Borislav. She confesses that, contrary to what she had previously claimed, she is a CIA operative during the entire firing. Cole discovers that he is in Pakistan. She attempts to protect herself and him from the adversaries in an action-packed scene. She halts the bus and shifts into reverse to avoid the gunfire coming from both sides. Cole's perception of her has been altered by her brutal murder. He finds it unbearable to consider loving this woman. Levesque enters the cave to speak with Wagner, the person in command, regarding the passcode. 
Cole is seen by them as the taxman, so they both decide to find him. In the meantime, Sadie works to protect Cole. She claims that aside from her profession, she didn't lie to them while they were traveling. She continues to enrage him. She mentions Elena, a former co-worker, and claims that Elena was slain because Elena was a spy for the adversaries. She takes him to a nearby market later in the day in an effort to get him to go. She introduces him to her colleague Marco, who discusses their previous romance. Cole experiences anger and envy. Why did she allow the inept Cole to join her, wonders Marco. She claims Cole was an error. That comment also hurts Cole. Nevertheless, he discovers that Sadie was attempting to attack someone who had stolen the deadly Aztec biological weapon. She wants to send Cole to the U.S. safely since she will be dealing with a dangerous man. She orders him to never get in touch with her again. He takes it too personally once more. Marco is shot just as they are about to leave by Sam's grandson, a bounty hunter. Cole, by then known as the tax man, was the man he wanted to speak with. Sadie and Cole are taken away while being held at gunpoint by the man. He is shot by the leopard, a different hunter, who is later murdered by God and assaulted by Sam's wounded grandson the leopard. Sadie now has the hunter at gunpoint and demands to know where he will send Cole. She then makes the decision to take Cole in a Toyota there. Cole keeps complaining about Sadie's violent and gun-filled existence as they travel. In addition, he keeps pursuing her regarding the significance of the passcode. She realizes at that point that Levesque is searching for the taxman since he also lacks the passcode. She therefore comes up with a new scheme and chooses to drive Cole to the delivery location before offering to turn him over. She spots an Aztec case in Levesque's vehicle over there. They both board the aircraft with Wagner and his friends. On Cole's phone, Wagner discovers a picture of Sadie. She was unaware that he took the disturbing photo. Wagner, though, assumes that they are romantically involved and pushes her to ask her boyfriend for the passcode. She claims to have it in her pocket instead of Cole. Wagner manages to grab it and tasers himself in the process. Cole and Sadie engage in combat with their adversaries and quickly emerge victorious. However, she begins to bleed and orders him to obtain a parachute and fly away. He doesn't want to go away from her. He takes her in his arms and carries Levesque's case after them. On an island near the Arabian Sea, Sadie discovers herself in a tent six hours later. She acknowledges his bravery and joins him in saving her. She notices that she now has the Aztec suitcase, but she still doesn't know the passcode. They are contacted by a few of Wagner's soldiers the following morning. CIA agents show up on the shore and transport Sadie and Cole back to the CIA headquarters from Virginia while they struggle to save themselves. Unfortunately, they fail to prevail in the Aztec case. Agent Monty Jackson confronts Sadie about compromising her assigned assignment by going rogue and introducing a potential threat, in this case Cole, while Agent Patty continues to swoon over Cole. In an effort to get the passcode, the agents divide the couple. Cole rejects it because he believes Sadie is innately nice despite having seen countless deaths. Monty displays to him images of the bodies Sadie killed over the previous six months. Cole observes a plant near to Elena's lifeless body and makes a significant deduction. It became out that the DNA encryption of this plant was the passcode. Cole recounts how the Aztec communities employed that plant, known as amaranth, frequently in the past for their rituals. Sadie discovers that Horvath, the scientist who invented the Aztec contraction, had an obsession with the sacrifice concept. She requests that word be sent to Levesque that Cole, the taxman, has the passphrase. She uses him as bait in order to seize the Aztec case later. Mr. Utami, Levesque's boss, grows impatient due to the delay in receiving the passcode. If he does not obtain it soon, he threatens to murder Levesque. Levesque subsequently receives the CIA's communication and heads to a high-rise restaurant to meet with the taxman. While Monty and his men wait outside to secure Cole's safety, 
Cole arrives there dressed appropriately. Cole learns from Monty that he must complete the task to ensure the security of his family. For him, it raises the stakes. At that point, Levesque's troops open fire on the agents outside the structure. Monty tells Cole to get going immediately. By the time Levesque and Mr. Utami enter the room, however, it is already too late. Cole maintains refusing to give Levesque the passcode in the hopes that Sadie will show up soon to assist him. By this time, Mr. Utami has grown impatient, and Levke has pointed a revolver at Cole. Sadie shows up there defying orders from her boss and claims she is there to protect someone she loves. The case is opened when she enters the passcode. After seeing the Aztec together, Sadie is paid. Levesque is now threatening to kill both her and the taxman, though. She responds by claiming that they are being pursued by bounty hunters who want to murder him. Then they all start fighting over the Aztec weapon as soon as possible. As a result of Wagner attacking Sadie, Cole counterattacks and drags him out of the room. The room begins rotating due to a malfunction as they are fighting. While battling each other, Levesque and Sadie make a valiant effort to keep the Aztec weapon in their hands. Cole eventually shows up in an effort to protect Sadie from Levesque. He assaults Levesque when he is caught touching her. Sadie intervenes to save Cole just before he is about to be pushed out of a shattered window. She then succeeds in pushing Levesque aside and gaining possession of the Aztec weapon. Following that, Sadie goes to Cole's residence with him, and they start dating. She continues to present herself to her family as an art curator. Even though Cole is the way he is, people are delighted that he has finally found love. The happy ending of the narrative has the pair accepting one another for who they are. Cole begins writing his book and emerges from his fearful cocoon romance and power of love romantic bond.